Uh, my name is Mario Tafo. I make clothes. I'm a fashion designer, or rather a fashion artist, I like to call myself. I want to see fashion, a fashion house to look like GT Bank that has 300 branches around the country and employing thousands of people and have consumers engaging with them in that light. I know it's very possible because we have it around the world. Fashion to me is an expression of your, of your personality, your mindset, your favorite colors, your emotions, and everything about you. And it's also a way of interpreting your personality to the world. So when people see you, they see your color, they see your style, and they see how you express yourself through what you wear. My name is Ifeo Lua Abuliman, Creative Director of Lapizuli, and this is Taylor Tales. Why fashion designing? Well, to me, I didn't choose fashion. Fashion chose me. I was um, an interior designer, but decorator before. Um, I have a passion for design. I always had a passion for colors, just creative, just doing things creative with my hands. Um, it's something that I, I was born with, so to speak. Right from childhood, I've been very artsy with the things I do, you know, crafts, arts and crafts. And um, I, I had a struggle trying to interpret what was in my mind uh, to, to my world. And um, I tried many things. I tried food, I tried cakes, baking cakes. I tried hairdressing. <laughs> um, I also did um, interior decoration. And um, I, also, I also designed furniture, as wrought iron furniture, flower pot stands, um, chairs, garden chairs, and garden accessories. Um, when I got married and um, I, I had my first daughter, my first child, um, it became a struggle to carry on with, um, with interior decoration because of the movement and you know dealing with people while I was pregnant so I had to stop that so it took me a while I was out of work for a while but I was raising my daughter so at some point I was asking myself what next and I was asking God what next and um, just one day I was at home and I just started being creative again I could I could express myself again so I took pieces of fabric and I made fabric flowers and next thing God just spoke to me that this is it this is it start fashion and since then I took steps to um, making my dream a reality um, right from time you know I my I just when I when fashion came back to me it cast my mind back when I was uh, about 16 15 years old I used to sketch fashion um you know models and clothes and um i actually stumbled into them my old sketches and i was amazed i said wow i did this many years ago and see it's coming back to me this way so i took steps to work on myself um my husband uh who is an it um consultant is always on the web so he helped me download books and um, articles and different uh, materials that I can use to study fashion and improve on myself. So, um, so that that my journey be began um, before. Initially, I was outsourcing my designs to tailors around to make um, my my designs. And when I got them back, I um, put stones and you know embroidery, hand embroidery bead sequence you know just to um embellish the, the, the clothes and um after doing all that i had friends and family who loved what i did and they were interested in buying and that's how it kicked off um at some point i realized that i couldn't keep um outsourcing the designs because i wasn't satisfied with what they were doing a lot of my designs they could not interpret very well 
so i decided to start on my own and you know buy machines and you know start the whole business um i took the long road very very long road because i learned on the job i got tailors to make my designs but um i i realized that even that i was a bit limited by how they interpreted my designs um i did this for a couple of years and um eventually i realized that uh, it wasn't going to take me a step further in in how i imagine my clothes to be so um i had gained a lot of clients and um they 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 had identified with my brand and they loved what i did i had you know many of them come back to me you know i had repeat um repeat uh, um, um um sales and everything um i also did some custom wear um but lately i now decided okay let me go fully into production of ready to wear so um my journey has been uh, has been very interesting. If I must say that, very. I've met a lot of people. I've met a lot of weird tailors, and I've 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 learned to 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 deal with them in different ways. I don't treat all of them the same way. But now I feel more confident because when they come to you now, they know that you can cut, you can sew. So they come with. Um, with a with ready prepared that they're they're not in this they're 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 not um um indispensable you know i can decide okay look you're not doing well let me get somebody else because i cut my patterns i cut you know i draft my patterns and i give them to sew so um so it has really helped me to produce my ready to wear line and um and and the journey continues. How did Lapizuli come about? The name Lapizuli. Well, it's interesting. Um, I had a name before that I was using, but um, my spirit didn't connect with the name. It just felt generic, like, okay, you're just calling it the name of the word, the word that was the name I was using before was Anjolive. Anjolive is French for to embellish. Um, I looked at it, I was like, oh, it's not really, it, my clothes are not just about embellishments. I didn't want to box myself and, you know, restrict myself to just embellished clothes. So um, one day I was in my room and I, I was praying to God and I asked him, I said, what should I, because I never really asked God, what name should I give this business? And he took me to Exodus um, chapter 28. I hope I'm getting that correct. Is that 18? I think it's 18. Yeah. Where God spoke to um, um, Moses about Aaron and the, the garments he was going to make for Aaron and his and his uh, sons, and um, one of the stones used to embellish Aaron's breastplate is called lapis lazuli. Lapis lazuli in uh, it's it's not the same in other translations. In other translations of the Bible, I used NIV. In other translations, it's called sapphire. But at on that day, I was using an NIV Bible. You know. And I just saw lapis lazuli is the fifth stone on Aaron's breastplate, and um, it's it's a precious stone, like a sapphire, like a like a topaz, um, emerald, and and all those kind of pre uh, semi-precious stones. And so I now said, okay, lapis lazuli, lapis lazuli. So God now said, put them together, and that's how right there. La Pizuli came about. Passion for me is a true expression of everything that I, you know, all the expressions of art that I've had from childhood. 
I remember when I was a child, I used to make uh, paper flowers and, you know, just things. I just, I used to paint. So fashion to me is, is all encompassing. It has helped me to, to gather all my thoughts as a creative person and help me to interpret my thoughts into clothing. Because clothing is very dynamic, very, very dynamic. The fabrics you use, the colors, the embellishments and everything that you know just comes to you it's more interesting and and what even brings me more joy is when i see people wear what i create and they're excited about it and you know um they always want more they're always looking forward to what what next with lapizuli what what what's the next design when my customers come in they say ah if I, what's the next design I'm, I'm waiting on next week i have something you know and um i i i my my customers really inspire me to to create better to do more to 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 make them feel special okay what inspires me i would say I mean, I know it's a cliche to say God. <laughs> God inspires me, but really he does. God inspires me. But I would say that um, everything around me inspires me. I'm a very emotional person. I connect with things. I connect with people. Um, I connect with nature as well. Um, where, like a lot of my embellishments, I use a lot of flowers leaves uh stones you know to enhance the dresses i i also i like if i want to create a collection i just i just a lot of times i look within and i also think about who i'm designing for you know sometimes uh, a designer can get lost in what he's thinking people would like you know and uh, for me i've taken it that the, the, the best way to interpret your design is to go the simple route, not being too complex. You know, you appeal more, you, you appeal to more people um, on th that way. Um, so inspiration comes from many things. I could be reading a book, I could be on the internet, you know, looking at um, other designers and, you know, their collection. But I, I don't, um, I, I try to, to look within. When I look outside, I look within and see how that has interpreted, how it's, it's been interpreted in, my, in myself, in my spirit. And um, I, I use that, that, um, that um, to, to bring out designs. I just let it flow. I just let it flow naturally. Yeah, that's what I do. I try not to overthink the design. Okay, well, um, um, whether I cater for just women, um, that is how I started. I started with women, but I am not restricted to just women clothes. Um, I have done a bit of male clothes. Um, especially for my husband he loves my designs and when he wears them out people always ask so he keeps asking me till date oh when are you coming out with a male collection um, it's all in the pipeline but I, I really want to let it uh, be organic I don't want it to be too mechanical um, I would also love to do children's clothes um, but there's this is for me, it's just good for me to start this way so that I'm not all over the place. So it just evolves. As I go on, the male collection will come up um, because really my ultimate desire is to have a one-stop shop where people can come in and buy clothes. Uh, I would say like a Zara, the Nigerian Zara, where you can come in and you just pick, mix and match Ankara, and really sell Africa to the world in a more contemporary fashion, in a, in a more contemporary way. 
that is not um, just our African in what we like, but also interpret that so that it appeals to a, a global market, you know, it, it appeals more to a global market. How do I cope as a mom, as a wife, and also juggling everything together with the business? Well, I, I just do it. Um, and I, I, I think about how the other person will feel, you know. How do I balance and make everybody happy? I just, I just, I don't overthink. I just do what I have to do, you know. I look at my children, you know, um, they want my attention. Um, what I try to do is I try to, you know, if one can, it's, it's all about time management. If you can do everything you need to do at a certain period, you know, and you dedicate time to your business. Like personally, I don't have a sewing machine at home. I don't have any machine or anything at home because when I get home, I like to focus on family. I don't like to work because if, if I do that, I will actually be doing work all through, you know, and I wear myself out. So I don't have a sewing machine. And that's one way I would say I've been able to keep business and uh, work and keep my family, you know. When my husband gets home, his dinner is ready. My children must have their dinner before they go to bed. They must see me, I must take them to bed. You know, so I cannot allow the business to take that away because family really comes first. Family comes first, business secondary. So because if your family is upside down, you cannot focus on your business. So make them happy, keep them happy. And when you're at work, you know your family is happy so you can concentrate and spend as much time as you have planned to at work. And don't take work home, as in your, you know, carry clothes and your sewing at home. That's me. May not work for any other person, but that's what I do. I hope you enjoyed yourself today watching Lapizuli. Thanks again. And don't forget, always be yourself, because that's the best way you can be, really. You're still watching. Tailor Tales on Prime TV. Take care.